to my channel or welcome if you are new. We have gone darker this morning. I was just feeling like I wanted a change. I wanted something that was really close to my natural color. And let me actually pull up me as a teenager. It's a picture of me and Justin actually. And this is what my natural color looks like. I think I was like 14 or 15 here, which by the way, let me zoom out so you guys can see us how adorable are we <laughs> but anyway i feel like i do this in the summertime and i don't know why but i feel like everybody does it the opposite way they're like "Ooh, summertime time to go lighter anytime i've ever gone darker it's been the summertime and i don't know why that is but i am really looking forward to the lower maintenance i feel like this is pretty close to my natural hair color i feel like it's a tad bit lighter than my natural hair color but if I get up a little bit closer, you guys can really see what it looks like, but I'm loving it. So I used the Garnier or Garnier Nutrice 70, and I think it's like a dark blonde color. So that's exactly what I wanted, and I feel like it turned out perfectly. So I'm really happy with it, but um, I need to go ahead and start cleaning. I need to make the bed and I also made a huge mess in our bathroom and I need to clean our mirror off in the bathroom as well. Y'all know in the last video I did toilets and so today I'm going to do the mirrors which actually I only think I need to do this mirror in our bathroom because that's the one that gets the dirtiest. The half bath and you know the guest bath and all it doesn't get too dirty so um, I really just need to clean off our mirror. So while I'm in there cleaning up all the mess from dyeing my hair I'm going to go ahead and clean our mirror off as well. But um, Julie just came in and she wants me to play Bananagrams with her again so I'm like let me go ahead and get these little chores done and and she's like, how long will it take? I'm like, probably 30 minutes tops. And then we're gonna play a game of Bananagrams or probably five because we get so addicted to that game. So anyway, here we go. been on an Elton John kick so <laughs> this is your sign to put on some Elton John music and clean because it's seriously the best.
we just finished up. That was a close game. How many did you have left? Uh, this, but they were hard words to work with. They were J, U, yeah. A, C, S, C. Wow, yeah. Oh my gosh. It is a lot harder to play this game when it's only two of you. Ross just woke up and Justin's not here right now, but when we play with the four of us, the game goes a lot quicker. I almost fell back. <laughs> but, Especially since we have two people well, with hello. vocabulary. <laughs> yeah, you and daddy. No, you and daddy. <laughs> you have a huge vocabulary. Look who came to see us. The swans. They're so pretty. Oh, they're mad at you. They said, keep your distance, Bailey. <laughs> They're so pretty. They must not be too bothered. Because <laughs> Bailey's right here and they're not leaving. Yeah, but they do hiss at him every once in a while. I think we have like seven or eight swans on the lake that we've seen. And they're getting even closer. It's kind of scary, but it's also kind of cute. Like, oh my God. Are they just gonna like fly up here and just be like, <laughs> No, I don't think they will. No, sir. I'm pretty sure it's a male and female. You think? Yeah. What makes you say that? I don't know. It just kind of looks like it. Uh -huh. One of them's smaller and fluffier than the other. <laughs> yes. Okay, we've been sitting here for like 15 minutes and they haven't moved. I love that they're just kind of hanging out with us. Julie went and got some bread, and Bailey thinks it's for him. <laughs> Throw it pretty far out there because you don't want him to be scared to come close. <laughs> I think they said thank you, Julie. <laughs> Do you hear him? <laughs> this one's hogging all the food. Bebe, can you go back? Oh, it is sassy. <laughs> oh, Julie tricked you. So do you have any Ross? Yeah, I do. Are, are you scared? <laughs> oh, they're scared of Bailey. Come here, Bailey. It's okay. Don't feed them a whole lot, okay? Yeah. Oh, they like that. Don't feed them, don't feed cookies though. Yeah, no cookies. <gasps> Bailey! He tried to eat the cookie. I mean, look how close they are. They're like right up here with us. They don't even care. <laughs> hey, All done. So I've been trying to figure out what to do with my day. I don't have a whole lot to do, but um, I've been trying to basically plan out dinner for when Justin gets home because he's working with one of his clients that's like not 
local. It's like not where we live. Um, so he has quite the drive once he's done working and he's not even done working yet. And it is 2.08. He left the house at like 8 a.m. So he's been gone all day. And y'all know that normally we have like one big meal in the middle of the day. And I already know what I'm cooking, but I'm just kind of trying to like time it out when he's going to get home. But at this point, I think we're probably going to end up eating without him anyway. But like I said, I don't even know when he's getting home yet. So um, I think I'm just gonna do a few more cleaning things. Let me show you guys my nightstand because it's embarrassing and it really needs to be cleaned. So my nightstand is definitely a catch all. I've got essential oils over here, notebooks with recipes, um, lots and lots of vitamins. This is where I keep all my vitamins and I definitely wanna keep it that way. Notebooks. I actually got everything to make this this week, so we're probably gonna do that. Just not today, because I've done a lot of baking lately. I made the bagels, and then yesterday I made like almost 40 chocolate chip cookies, so we're not quite ready to do that yet. So, but that's been in there. Um, some origami things. Just a bunch of random, you know. I keep, okay, so I actually keep the kids' remotes with me. Um, I just, if I let them keep their remotes, they'll watch TV in their rooms all day. You know, it's summertime. Um, so we kind of came up with this summertime rule where they get to watch TV like at nighttime um, to like wind down, but I keep the remotes here. Um, but they can watch TV like in the middle of the day if we're all watching something like in the living room or whatever. So it's not like a super strict rule, but it has helped out a lot keeping the remotes in here. That way they're just not in their rooms all day. And you know, they're out playing Bananagrams right now, which is really great because they're learning and playing at the same time. Um, but anyway, as you can see, this needs some help. So let's do something with it. about me is you will not catch me without floss but this is kind of embarrassing because I'll like floss before bed and then I'm just like Ugh, I don't feel like getting up and then it got collected in here so these are all used floss <laughs> a lot better I've got all of my notebooks and like list pads over here pens and pencils I also have my blue light glasses um, I have the remotes and the kids Pokemon recipe book a few technology things this just connects the SD cards into my computer so got that there and then all of my vitamins I also put just like some acetaminophen right here too because I like to have that beside the bed just in case you wake up in the middle of the night and you need it um, you don't have to get up and go looking for it so got that there I also put Vaseline on like my lips every day so have that there also some chapstick and I ended up putting all of my essential oils in this box here and just some lotions in there too so this looks a lot better but now I need to put all this stuff away <laughs>
Justin just texted to let me know that he probably will be home in like two and a half to three hours and I am starting to get kind of hungry. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cook some dinner. We're gonna do some like cheesy hamburger. Well, I guess that would be cheeseburger. <laughs> cheeseburger sliders, some baked beans and some corn on the cob tonight. that I saw for this on TikTok, she sprayed hers down, but I don't have any more um, nonstick spray. So I just put some olive oil on my tin foil and I'm just gonna spread it around, old school. Um, but the TikTok person that I saw doing this said that it's so much better when you cook it this way instead of cooking it on a pan. Basically, we're just gonna take the buns and put them on here and then put the meat on and everything and then kind of wrap it up. So that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna see how it turns out. So Justin just got home. He brought me back a magnolia. It got a little wilted in the yeah, car, but the car. <laughs> it smells so good. Anytime he sees magnolias, he picks them for me because he knows I love the smell. And also if it's Christmas time, he'll pick mistletoe mm -hmm. so we can put it in the house. Kids are out here in the lake. I heard I you guys. How to make a blood prototype. Oh well, yeah? Thanks. I don't know. It's All looking right. kind of dark over there. <laughs> I checked the weather though and it said it shouldn't rain all evening. So, we should be good. hopefully you guys will be good. Yep. Justin just said if Chick-fil-A made sliders, and that, <gasps> you know, this, this would be it. It's that the is the best compliment. It's got the pickle, the bread's kind of sweet. Like, <laughs> you it's got very Chick-fil-A like. Sesame seeds on your lip. <laughs> But yeah, you're right. I mean, the pickles and everything, it's, it's it does make really it kind of Chick-fil-A-like. Cool. 